Welcome back, Stas23 here, back again with some night therapy. And today I have the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Um, this is part of their elemental element series, which uh, means that they're blades that are geared toward your highly corros corrosive environments. And um, this waypoint comes in at $295. I think you can only purchase them on their site. I'll try to leave a link down below to the site and to their Instagram page where you can link to that, that site. Um, there's several different variations of this uh, knife. You can get it in either stonewasher satin blade and then like uh, bead blasted, black, uh, stonewashed, and uh, diff all the different combinations. So they definitely try to meet everybody's needs. Um, this is a very compact EDC. Uh, in all dimensions, very, very little footprint. And let's get into the specs. You have an overall length of 7.52 inches, a blade length of 3.33 inches, a grip area from here to here of 3.5 inches, a very, very narrow width in the pocket of 0.92 inches, and very slender in the thickness of 0.37 inches. With that deep carry wire clip, this thing pretty much disappears in the pocket and I carry it around and you, you don't even, you can get your hand by it so easily. So if you're looking for, you know, a minimalist carry, this is, might be the right one for you. Um, <clears throat> you have a blade stock thickness of a very skinny 0 0.085. I love seeing that. There's so many knives that are way too thick these days. Um, you have a behind the edge thickness of 20 thousandths, pretty much the entire length of the blade. And this is around 16 degrees per side. <laughs> you have a nice hollow grind here. So you can get a lot of life out of this blade from sharpening it. It's not going to, it's not going to, uh, thicken up very quickly on you. You have a nice satin finish on this one with a stone washed, nice blasted stone wash finish on the titanium. You have a quiet carry logo on this side and the blade steel, which is Van Vanex Super Clean, which is a nitrogen based steel, very, very corrosion resistant, pretty uh, similar to LC200N. So, this blade's not going to rust on you. You have dual titanium thumb studs, another thing that's not going to rust, and you have some fine cut jimping that is pretty effective. You have a sharpening tool right here close it up you have very good access to that thumb stud all you do is put your thumb in that groove and it rockets out very nice tuned detent riding on phosphor bronze washers with a ceramic detent ball um, it's easy to you can either slow roll it and the detent's not too hard to where it kicks the blade out like that on you you can control it and uh, like I said if you want it to come out fast just a nice little flick out like that and it comes out nicely um, it's not super easy to spidey flick because as you can see um, this thumb stud almost sits flush with the scale but every now and again playing around with it I can get it up oh, nope I'm not gonna even keep drying um, you do have easy access to that lock bar because the, the locking liner sits a little bit proud of the show side scale because of that cutout. And they also have a nice little chamfer in there to keep it softened for you. Not overly strong lock bar pressure to where it's going to kill your thumb. Um, all your hardware on here is marine grade stainless so it shouldn't rust on you. Uh, very minimalist. You have a pivot and you have one body screw right here. And they kept it clean by giving you the flat side. The torques are on the other side. All the torques are Torx T8. You have tip up, left or right hand carry. And like I said, you have that wire pocket clip that works so well. And it's like a scratch resistant type clip because all my hard edge clips always tear up the bottom of my steering wheel so i like these because they don't they have those softened edges on it you have the quiet carry four dot um signature on th this one as well pretty much i think all their knives have that uh easy access with the left hand and easy access to that lock 
left-handed as well. Pretty much a flow-through construction. You do have a little small titanium backspacer that's almost like a big standoff. Um, that's that's fitted very nicely in there. Your uh, Torx are very cleanly cut, and they're nice. They're nice and deep. They're all countersunk and they're pan head screws, so they're flush mount and there's no gaps whatsoever. And the pie clip screws countersunk, love that. You have um, a good bit of skeletonization on the um, on the show side of the scale. Let's see if I can show you. See the pocket right there. It's pretty large to help keep save on weight. And on your lock side, you have a locking liner. And it's basically just the, the lock spring that, as you can see, has been screwed in from the inside. So you don't have any hardware on the outside. Very nice. And they kept everything pretty clean, especially on the show side with using these, these uh, just flat uh, hardware. And they didn't break up the lines by putting a lanyard hole Sorry about that lanyard people, but if you want a lanyard hole, you could always tie it to the pocket clip, I'm sure. I uh, just, I don't really use one unless, unless it's a really small knife. I may throw one on there, but you don't see them often for me. Um, ergonomics are pretty good. Uh, if you've ever held a Chris Reeve small Sabenza, it, it's pretty much the same, especially without the inlaid, uh, inlays on there. This is a, a skinnier handle, but I get a good grip on there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's about as good as ergos you can get with a, a straight back design like that. Um, one thing I did notice though, uh, I was doing, doing my, my normal wood shaving, putting pressure on it and when I when I was cutting in the hammer grip it was it was really comfortable put the hand right here it's good but a lot of times whenever I'm cutting cardboard the hammer grip the the butt of the knife and the, the, the back of the clip sit outside of my my fist but whenever I cut like this when I'm using that that jimping a lot of times I push the knife up like this and that causes the back of that pocket clip to you know, I can feel it. It's not super uncomfortable, but I'm sure after a lot of cutting, it probably would get a little uncomfortable, especially for me. Um, but like I said, just a switch of the grip or sliding forward a little bit, you, you miss that pot clip whatsoever. So that's probably my only nitpick at all with this knife so far. Um, let's get a weight on this knife. It, they did a good job of, of cutting down weight every way they possibly could. 2.78 ounces. Wow, that's, you know, all the fanboys of the ounce and inch, that's way under under that. So, uh, very, very nicely done. They I, I think they hit this one out of the park. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Kawhi Carry. I, the, the knife that this precedes was another knife in Van X, and that was the uh, the Drift. So it gets you some size comparisons. Uh, the Drift's a little bit smaller, but you have a wider blade. Same thickness in the scale, same thickness in the stock. This is also part of their Element series because uh, it had this one. You know, is rust proof as well. Um, my other two Quiet Carries that I that I love. My Quiet Carry IQ and L Max, another great minimal carry, thin, lightweight, and then you have the Quiet Carry Chase. All great EDCs. Those two are both about the uh, same. The IQ and the Chase are about the same size and length. <clears throat> One that is a great size comparison is the Millet Torrent. And they're close to the same price range. Almost identical, if not identical in size. Then you have the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza. These two feel really similar in hand. Two more quick comparisons. We have the Drop Dog Tooth. 
pad zinker design. These two are pretty similar in size and in width. And then the Spyderco Delica, which is a good bit shorter. Overall, I, I like this knife a lot. Um, my buddy Slicey Dicey got his. He's been thoroughly enjoying his. Uh, my other buddy Brian, anything knife related on Instagram, he got his. He's been enjoying his a lot. I think this is... Uh, an excellent step in the right direction. Uh, pretty much anything that people complained about with this knife, um, seems like they they fixed it and listened on this knife. Um, I've been I, I've thoroughly enjoyed this knife. You know, for me living in South Louisiana, we have a very humid climate, a very salty climate, and. Uh, during the summer, you know, I know a lot of y'all are still wearing coats and stuff. We're in 80 degree weather here in Louisiana, so it's hot. You know, people in Florida, y'all know what I'm talking about, uh, Alabama. Um, whenever it's rolling around to those hotter months, then I don't tend to carry knives that corrode easily. So, you know, before it was my dr the Drift and my uh, Spider Co. Spidey Ship that I carried if I knew I was going to be sweating a lot. This is another nice one to add to that lineup. Just a very classic design, simple, um, and they seem to hit all the points. The at, Like I said, access to lock bar is good. Detent's good. Thumb stud, you can easily get to it. Action's good. Pocket clip's good. Um, the weight is good. Corrosion resistance, excellent. Vanix holds a good edge. It's a tough steel. Um, not much more I can say about it, you know? I, know. I know it's not a cheap knife, but, you know, this is a small company. They may do small runs of, of their knives, and they're not always the easiest to get a hold of, so there there there's an exclusivity to them <clears throat> so overall I like it I, I haven't really had one of their designs that I didn't like so if uh you like all the things I've said and you can afford or to to spend this much money on a blade then I'd say go for it um if there's any glaring problems I see down the road I will definitely let y'all know if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below and uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.